Okay, in this optics lesson, we are going to learn how to draw lens uh, light ray diagram for converging lens to locate the image of an object. So these are the learning objectives. Okay, so lens are a specially shaped transparent medium to alter the light ray path for a specific, specific purpose. And the light rays are refracted in special direction or specific direction at different parts of the lens so as to achieve that specific purpose. Okay, so like this, okay, so you find that there are light rays that are running like that and they all converges to a particular point, okay, as in it works in eyes, lens of eyes, or it could be diverging, okay, where the light ray is uh, parallel and then it actually scatters out. So the, uh, the glass or the transparent medium is specially shaped so that they do, they alter the light ray in a certain manner. So uh, for this lesson, we'll just look at how converging lens uh, reflect light rays and how do we draw the light rays diagram to help us to locate the image of the objects. There are many light rays that will pass through the lens. So for example, this is the lens and this is let's say, the light ray that's coming out. There's actually many, many light rays and they will be uh, uh, refracted by the lens and they will converge Okay, for a converging lens. So this is where the image will be. But we will only select uh, three light of light rays of different direction to help us indicate or to locate the location or the image of the object. So these are the three light rays. One, two, and three. So what are the three light rays? One of the first light ray is the light ray that is parallel to the principal axis. The second light ray is the light ray that passes through the second center of the lens. And the third light ray is the light ray that passes through the focal point of the lens before reaching the lens and then and then uh, refracted by the lens. So there will be we just only need to draw three light rays. So part of a lens diagram, okay, so you are familiar with the lens diagram, is first thing first is the principal axis. It's an imaginary line that cuts through the center of the lens. Okay, so you have this lens, it's represented by this picture, and the lens of a uh, converging lens will always have two focal points, one on the left and one on the right, before or after. So the object will be indicated by just a single line arrow, and you draw the light rays, and where they intersect is the image. Okay, so these are major parts of the lens diagram. Okay, one point to take note is that the lens and the principal axis must always be at 90 degrees. So the light ray that is parallel to the principal axis. Why do we choose light ray that is parallel to the principal axis? It's because the uh, because the converging lens is specially constructed so that the light ray parallel to the principal axis will always travel towards the focal point after the lens. So this is the focal point, and for all the light rays that is parallel to the principal axis would go towards the focal point after the lens. But one thing to take note of is that it doesn't stop there, but actually it just go travel towards it and go beyond. Light ray through the center of the lens okay, are special. In that sense is that the center of the lens, uh, first thing first, center of the lens is indicated by the intersection between the principal axis and the lens. Okay, so there are light rays that will not be affected by the lens and and will not be refracted. Okay, remember, lens are specially constructed, so they fulfill a certain thing. And in this case, for con con converging lens, any light ray that passes through the center of the lens will not be refracted. So what it means is that light ray that passes through the center of the lens will always be just a straight line. Light ray that passes through a focal point before reaching the center of the lens will always have the following characteristics is that after it reaches the lens, the light ray will be refracted in such a way that the light ray will be parallel to the principal axis. Okay, what is the reason? Uh, it's because it's the reversibility of path of light. Okay, this is actually just a flip image. Okay, what if the light ray comes from the other side? And of course the light ray will come to uh, converge to the focal point that's over here. Okay, reversibility of light means that if the light source uh, is over here, the light source is over here and it shines over here, you find that you will actually follow the path and since it's here, it will be actually just uh, as parallel, okay, a light ray that is parallel. So 
if the light ray can travel from uh, from uh, A to B in this manner, it means that it light ray can travel from B back to A. So how do we locate the image? Um, actually, to identify the location of the image, we need the intersection of the three light rays. All the three light rays will always meet at the same special point, and that point is where the image of the object would be. So, but if you draw the light ray and find that one of the light rays doesn't meet the two light rays, it means that most likely you have made a mistake somewhere. Um, having said that, however, you actually do not need to draw the three light rays. If you draw, draw three light rays, it's very secure because uh, if you draw anything wrongly, you will find that you will, uh, you will be able to identify if they don't intersect everyone. Uh, but if you just only want to find the intersection, you can just, just only draw two out of three of the light rays. Okay, because for intersection, you only need two lines. So it really depends on the question that which light ray could be drawn. Okay, so you draw a two light ray to locate where the image, but maybe you draw the third light ray to confirm where the image really is. So how do we draw, generally, how do we draw the light rays? Okay, so we just assume that there's this uh, light bulb that's on top of it. Okay, but uh, in actual drawing, you don't need to draw the light bulb. Okay. This is for illustration purpose. So first thing, you always draw the first light ray that is parallel to the principal axis. And remember, light ray that's parallel to the principal axis will go towards the focal point. Okay, next. So you just only need to draw a line that cuts straight through. Okay, but remember, don't stop at the focal point. Cut straight through. The second light ray is very simple. You simply need to start from the where the object is, and you just draw towards the center of the lens and straight through okay so by now actually you do know that the image will be here so you can actually start to draw the image but if you want to double confirm whether through the object is truly here you can just draw the third light ray which passes through the focal point first and once it hits the lens it should go straight or parallel to the principal axis so this is where they intersect and this is where the image of the object will be. So there are three light rays, one, two, and three. Okay, as I said, you do not have to draw the, uh, in fact, you don't need to draw the light bulb. Okay, this is for illustration purpose. The question is that, why isn't that the image actually upright? Okay, some may question that you draw something like this, then my image is as, uh, same, same. Okay, this is like that, and like this. Okay, why isn't it upright? Okay, the reason is this. Okay, let's assume that uh, we, uh, we, we draw the light bulb in the center. So we'll see where, if the light bulb is the center, okay, where will the image be? Okay, actually you just need to follow the general principle, the same, okay, the one that's parallel, the one that's passes through the center, the one that passes through the focal point. You realize that the image would focus at the something that is lower than the original one that's on top. So that means that the one that is lower from the top is actually over here lower uh, at this image side. So that means that if you join the line, it should actually, if you if you draw something that's even lower, it should end up here, okay, in that, sun, in that sense. So we know that in this case, the image of the object is inverted. So just remember, the three light rays is PCF, parallel, center, and focal point. And if you only want to identify where the location of the image, you just only need two out of three. Okay, some other things to keep in mind. When object is at infinite distance, the light ray from the objects will be parallel to each other. So it will not be uh, it will not be the three light rays that is like that. Okay, but instead it will be parallel. Okay. The object at infinite distance, okay, the image will form at a focal length and not at a focal point. Okay, so if it's at infinite distance, the image will be formed at the focal length, okay, not the focal point. This is the focal length. So some other points to take in mind. Okay, when the object is at focal length, the image form will be at infinity because the light ray will be parallel. Okay, so these are some acknowledgement and that's the end of how do you draw like lens ray diagram.